Hi everyone, welcome to Sue's Day. I'm Sue Ann Jafarian, the fat woman driving the novel RV. I'm coming to you today from downstream campground in North Dakota. It's by the Garrison Dam and is one of my favorite campgrounds. I want to address today a question I get asked all the time. And that is, what determines my itinerary? Am I a planner? Do I reserve everything out months in advance? Uh, or do I just wing it? What and what determines where I go next? And that's a very good question. A friend recently asked me if I had anchor destinations, meaning places that I go to pretty regularly, and then in between do I travel around. And I hadn't thought of that before, but that's really how I travel. I have anchors. In uh, the summer, I usually spend two to four weeks in North Dakota. In July, I'm usually at the Winnebago Grand National Rally in Iowa. In the fall, I generally spend anywhere from a month to two months with my family in Massachusetts. And at Christmas time, the holiday season, I like to be in Mississippi at Davis Bayou Campground. Now, these aren't carved in stone. This year I turned everything on its head. I'm up in North Dakota a little later than usual. I spent uh, late spring, early summer with my family in Massachusetts. And that's the beauty of living on the road. I can pretty much do what I want when I want because I can. There's a lot of freedom in that. But what does determine where I spend my time? A lot of it is determined by weather. I am spending more time in North Dakota this year because it's been so darn hot and I've had to be in campgrounds with electric hookups so that I can run my AC for the comfort of Moxie and myself. Originally I was going to leave East Taunton Campground and head west and travel around for a while and had the weather been better I would have done that. But instead I decided to book almost two weeks here at Downstream and stay here where I had hookups and they have a lot of shade here. Uh, that's one of the nice things about this campground. They have lots of trees. So that put me back another almost two weeks. But I had the time. I don't need to be anywhere until the end of September and that's in Santa Fe, New Mexico at Amita. So I have the flexibility. So the weather determines a lot of it. Some of it determine, is determined by what I want to see and when I want to see it. In spite of being on the road for four years, I still have lots of things to see that I haven't seen yet. And there are quite a few in this area still, even though I come here every, sum, every summer. Another thing that determines it is things I hear on the road. When I was in East Taunton, there was this lovely couple from Minot who were staying there and um, they gave me tips on some great campgrounds that are north of Minot along the Canadian border. I've been in northern North Dakota before, but not in that part. So I decided, why not go there? I have the time. So when I leave downstream, I'm going to be heading north to see those areas. And from there, I'm heading west to Glacier National Park. I've been wanting to see Glacier for quite a while. The problem is, you know, during COVID, it shut down. And after COVID and it opened, it opened up with a lot of restrictions and limited access. But now it's open. And when I saw it was going to be not far from there, I decided this might be the year to see Glacier. So I'm going to be heading into Glacier National Park uh, the uh, first end of the first week in September and checking that out. And then I'm gonna start my journey south to uh, Santa Fe. So how I decide where I'm going and when, weather, places I wanna see and new places I learn about. When I learn about a new place, like when these people told me about these campgrounds, 
I post them on my Google Maps and flag them so that I don't forget them. But I'm going to knock a bunch of those off in the next few weeks. I'm very excited about that. And these campgrounds have electricity, so if this pesky heat wave continues, I'll still have enough coverage for to keep Moxie and me comfortable. The other thing I also plan in my year is going to Texas a couple times a year. That's my domicile state. And I'll float through there for my semi-annual physical and my annual physical and to have my vehicle inspected and registered. Plus, I tend to spend the month of November there. That's not an anchor place per se, but I really like November in, North, in Texas. Um, and Texas is so big that even though I'm there quite a bit, there's still so much to see in that state. It's just so humongous with so much history and things to see. So I'll be there this November before I head out to Mississippi. Anyway, that's how I determine where, how, why, and when I go places. It's pretty much a mixture of set places and meandering. And it's a good lifestyle for me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you next Tuesday.